Przed chwilą wziąłem udział również w rozmowie. A moment ago I took part in a conversation with a few prime ministers and president Zelensky about training for Ukrainian pilots on using the F-16 fighters. We set up the schedule for that training. Poland will help Ukraine train the pilots of F-16 jets. When it comes to the Patriots, a very good system, unfortunately we have too few of them. We have just ordered new ones a while ago and there is a long delivery time. I took part in this meeting as well and at this meeting I indicated how important it is for other countries who have Patriot systems to share them with Ukraine as soon as possible. And I can tell you that this meeting was very constructive, very positive. Speaking to reporters, Morawiecki also commented on a resolution questioning Hungary's ability to hold the European Union presidency next year. It is a clear violation of European rules in their most important form, that is treaty rules, the treaties that rule on the shape of the European Union. Destroying the entire way of managing the EU in this way is not only a road to nowhere, but it is a road to the abyss. I think as I earlier mentioned it in Heidelberg, that if there will be an attempt to violate a European Union member, if there will be an attempt to force European Union countries to qualified majority voting in the decision process, to so-called federalization, which in fact means centralization of the decision process, the bureaucratic process, then it will be a path in a very wrong direction. Despite a significant cooling of relations due to their different stances on the war in Ukraine, Poland and Hungary remain united in opposing what they see as undue interference from Brussels over reforms that critics say undermine judicial independence. President of Ukraine Vladimir Zelensky joined European leaders and pressed his case for Ukraine to be part of the NATO military alliance. We're thankful to our partners for all different air defence systems, but patriots are patriots. Regarding the aircraft coalition, to us it's important that the United States play the leading role as the F-16 are their aeroplanes. Our colleagues and allies are ready to help us, but these planes are those of the United States. However, today I heard powerful support from many countries. I heard about a significant number of aircraft fighters. With the help of the United States, we will create this coalition very soon. We will figure it out. People will answer for the fact that there were those who couldn't get into the bomb shelter and unfortunately died. As if it wasn't enough to have Russia as an enemy, we also have internal ones. There's a word I want to say, but there are many journalists here. It's on the tip of my tongue. French President Emmanuel Macron first called for the new Forum for Diplomacy in a speech to the European Parliament on the 9th of May 2022 as a way of discussing security challenges such as the war in Ukraine with non-EU countries. He described it as an organisation that would allow democratic nations to cooperate on a number of key issues. The inaugural meeting of the new community took place last October in Prague, with leaders saying the summit provided an opportunity to discuss common challenges on the continent.